we are off on a date night. It is a Friday night. And I liked the cadence <laughs> to how you announced we have a night for a date. <laughs> O-M-G. So we are headed to the west side to have some dinner. I'm just awful chipper tonight, aren't I? I'm just so excited about what we're doing tonight because it is Disney related, right? Yes. Okay, so we are going to dinner on the west side um, to Pizzeria Rustica. The name of the chef is Mickey. No, we have been to Pizzeria Rustica before, um, but it's been a while and we absolutely love this place. It's kind of Colorado Springs' version of Via Napoli, except a much smaller yep. venue. <laughs> what? Okay, and then after that, we're heading to the Pikes Peak Center to see the Colorado Springs Philharmonic. I want to say Philharmagic, but it's the Philharmonic. Um, and they are going to be playing alongside while we watch the movie Coco. So, this is going to be amazing. Um, we did do something like this a few years ago when they played alongside the movie Fantasia, and it was awesome. So, Coco, we like even better. More than Fantasia, I think. Am I speaking for you as well, Eddie? Yes. And the music is amazing. So, unfortunately, we can't, of course, record or anything like that within, you know, when we're in the auditorium. But, yes. So, come along with us. It's going to be awesome. Here at Pizzeria Rustica, and we actually got seated upstairs for the first time ever. This is really yeah. Cool. We've never never been up here before, except to use the restrooms. Which are... Oh, I've never used the restroom here, so oh, I... I don't even know. Uh, so Eddie, of course, got his prony. I got my moscato. We got some mushrooms coming. Yeah, with some rosemary garlic flatbread. Yeah, so.
we are wrapping up um, our night out. We had a wonderful dinner at P3 Rustica, and then we went to the Pikes Peak Center and saw uh, the Color Springs Philharmonic play alongside the whole entire movie, credits including Coco. And so, what are your thoughts of the evening, Eddie? Well, if we start with dinner, um, I have not had a bad meal at Pizzeria Rustica. 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 Pizzeria Rustica. Um, I don't know if that's right. <laughs> it's it's a Italian stone pizza, right? Or yeah, of, of, entrees are the pizza. And it's not like pizza at pizza. No. It's, it's Via Napoli. It's, in, it's it's like smaller, almost personal size pizza. Like kind of medium size, I heard the lady say. Now, there's times, I mean, her and me can slices. split one. Mm -hmm. But I was starving this day, so I, I had a whole one for myself because... Yeah. And it kind of threw me off a little this time. Every time we've been there, we've always eaten down the main level. Main level. Mm -hmm. This time, because they, they got a bathroom on the main level, mm -hmm. but if it's taken, they Walk got upstairs. other bathrooms upstairs. I've gone to the bathroom, but there, I haven't seen any of those stuff. Mm -hmm. And it was never part of Pizzeria Rustica, as far as I know. As far as where you have so, to seat the pizza. Would love to finish my thought. I'm going to go make my own YouTube page. Where I don't get interrupted. Oh my gosh. Um, anyways, so they took us upstairs, which threw me off. I know, I was thinking, um... Did Are we going to eat over the finished? toilet? No, I just was like, um, what? Because normally it's like, do you want to get seated outside? Because they do have a nice patio area. Even in the winter, you can sit out there. But there's either that or there's inside. And the spot that we've sat at the last two times we've been there was open. And I thought, oh, we're going to sit there again. And no, we go upstairs. But it was really cool. So yeah, especially at first, no one else was up there. Yeah, yeah. Like, we had this whole room to ourselves. Yeah. Um, then some other people came in. You could tell, like, the the guy in the group, he's not used to being, like, at quieter places. And it's probably the first time he's seen his grandkids in a while. So having fun. And, like, some people going, shh, shh, we're at a nice restaurant. And I was like, no, no, no. Eddie all, interacting with strangers and making all, quick it's friends. It's, it's typical Eddie. He's awesome. But, yeah, uh, it was... They it loved was, me. It, yeah. Who does wanted to do a beer bong who with doesn't? me. Who doesn't? Yeah. But we had to go. We had to leave and go. They don't have a beer the bong there anyway. Pike, so I just, know. To the yeah. Pikes Peak Center for the show. Yes. And I didn't get, I was going to do some video of us walking. I got a little bit of video of us walking into the Pikes Peak Center, kind of outside nighttime, downtown Colorado Springs. But I didn't get as much and I didn't really have a lot of chatting on it because um, the parking situation downtown was kind of messed up. There was some one of the streets. One of the streets yeah. we sometimes park on was closed. So a car was following us basically. We saw this car kind of going on one street and then doing a U-turn and then they parked behind us. Lo and behold, it was a little elderly lady that was also going to the same venue and she asked if she could walk with us, which definitely because we were like four blocks away and it's dark and you know, she's, we found out later she's 86. So we gladly escorted her and so we just kind of spent our time kind of just talking with her and yeah. Mm -hmm. In an unrelated story, my identity was stolen <laughs> over the weekend. Not quite sure who, but I have credit cards missing, just a little bit of cash. So don't anyway, expect much for Christmas. So that, and then they didn't, they don't let you have like, you know, you can't, we did take some pictures inside the auditorium once we got there, but um, there was a mariachi band that played during intermission. And I believe it was some high school students and they were amazing. Um, the whole entire night was just amazing. The once again, I discovered and I realized that Coco is one of my all-time favorite movies. Maybe my all-time favorite Pixar movie. Um, the music, the visual, the theme, the, the whole story is just so amazing. So uh, and hearing it alongside with the live music of the symphony, the Philharmonic, whatever. I don't know if there's a difference. But I don't know. It was beautiful. It was, it was so good. I, I keep saying it. We've, we've done this once before with Fantasia. Mm -hmm. I don't think it was the whole movie because I feel like they took parts from Fantasia and Fantasia 2000 mm. and played music along. Yeah. Um, I need to look more into it to see if they do this like with other movies. Yet, yes, I would see every Disney movie there, but like around Halloween, they should have like The Exorcist playing or something like that. And no. Because orchestras could play like some really good music. No, that sounds like a horrible idea. That would be scary. I don't want to see that. Anyways. Well, we'll put blinders on you and you can just listen. <laughs> oh, great. Okay. No, but it was beautifully done. It was uh, uh, the movie. Mm. And then the mariachi band. Um, 
Oh, we, we had already talked to Dora, the sweet lady that we escorted in. We told her to meet us in one spot when the show was over and we would walk her back to the car. So that's what happened. So. Actually, she walked me back and she gave me a piggyback ride. It was awesome. <laughs> Yeah, so. 86. She can she can carry me. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, so it was a it was a fantastic night, um, and uh, we hadn't been to the Pikes Peak Center in about a year, so the, the Philharmonic was great. The food that we had before the show, it was just an all around wonderful date night with my hubby. Nothing like beer at the Symphony too. Oh yeah, he did have a beer. They did. They I could have got a glass of wine, but it's a good time. Support yeah. your local arts. Yes. Anything else to add to that, Eddie? No. Like, subscribe, comment. Share. Let us know what you think about this. Let us know what's going on in your home area. Town, neck of the woods. Yeah. Um, send us pictures. We're on Twitter. We're on Facebook. On Twitter, I am Eddie Watches MLB. And I am Jenny the Pooh 71. That's J E N N I E, the Pooh, like Winnie the Pooh 71. And we're on Facebook at Ears, etc. So check us out and stay tuned for more tall tales and short stories. Thanks, everybody. Bye.